Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use Euler circles to help to determine if the conclusions are valid or invalid. So when you're looking for whether they are valid or not, whether the conclusion is valid, you have some statements that you are given and we're going to use circles to help represent that. Okay, so our first statement is that all cats are mammals. So we're saying that we have a group that is mammals. So I'm going to draw a circle to represent mammals. And then it tells us that all cats are mammals. So inside of mammals, there is a circle that represents all cats. Okay, so this is how we would represent our first statement. All cats, so the entire circle that contains cats, is inside of the larger group mammals. Okay, our second statement says that a lion is a cat. So there's only one place that I can put the lion, and that's inside of the circle of cats, because we know it's inside of there. Okay, and so because of the fact that there's only one place to represent that we have a lion, we can say that this conclusion is valid because there's no, um, since the lion is inside of the group cats and cats is inside of the group of mammals, we can conclude that a lion is a mammal. Okay, so let's look at another statement. For this one, we have that no cats are magenta. So that tells me that I have a circle that represents cats. And I have a circle that represents things that are magenta. And these two circles do not overlap um, because no cats are contained in the magenta. So we know that they're going to be separate circles. Okay, and then we have a second statement that says Monty is not a cat. So we know that Monty could be outside of here, but it could also fall inside of things that are magenta. So all we know is that Monty is not a cat, so he can't be in this circle. Okay, and so our conclusion, Monty is magenta, is going to be an invalid statement because of the fact that it is possible that Monty could be magenta, but we also know, that, or the only thing that we do know for sure is that he is not a cat. So he could be inside of um, things that are magenta, or it could be something that is outside of magenta and outside of cats. So in order to be valid, there's only one place that you can put the little icon to represent what you're talking about. So like we had the lion up here, there was only one place and it's inside of both circles. So if it's inside of cats, it has to be inside of mammals. Where this one down here, there's, we just know that Monty is not a cat. So he could be inside or he could be on the outside of both circles, or it's possible that Monty could be magenta and fall inside of this circle as well. So since there was two places that I could put the representation of Monty, it's an invalid statement. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.